At Fluid Truck, we were the first to give you commercial vehicles at the click of a button. And we were the first to give you on-demand commercial electric vehicles. Now, we're reimagining commercial fleets once again. Everyone is trying to make the ultimate electric vehicle. After much testing, what we found is range anxiety and duration to full charge are the two things holding back from widespread adoption. We've solved these problems and we're redefining what's possible. Introducing the Fluid Fusion Truck. It's the world's first zero carbon emission micro-nuclear powered delivery van. Using our 125 megawatt small modular reactor, we've increased the vehicle's range to 3.3 billion miles between uranium-235 Phillips. By harnessing the power of nuclear fusion, we've built the most efficient vehicle in the known universe. We've single-handedly resolved range anxiety for all of mankind. We didn't skimp on the details. Even our base model comes loaded with a full radiation suit and a Geiger counter. We've received glowing reviews so far, and as an added bonus, our customers are glowing too. We decided to give the Fluid Fusion truck a try. I used to only be able to do 100 stops on my route. Now I can do 25,000 if I want, before I need to fill up with more uranium-235. The possibilities are endless. Whether you're driving around town or trying to make an overnight delivery to Saturn, you won't have to plan your trip around superchargers. Say goodbye to range anxiety and hello to freedom. Unlock the future with the Fluid Fusion Truck. Power your drive with uranium. uranium. The Fluid Fusion Truck has not been tested or approved by the U.S. Department of Transportation. Uranium-235 radioisotopes are classified as highly toxic and unstable. Drivers are cautioned to use at their own risk. Do not ingest uranium, no matter how appetizing it may look to hungry people. Side effects of uranium exposure may include headache, fever, shortness of breath, and a green glow. Please use radiation suits as advised and contact the Center for Disease Control if symptoms of exposure persist.